So for therapeutic cross-referencing is really what this is called. So this is how we're going to choose our blends. And in aromatherapy, because aromatherapists aren't allowed to uh, change medication, they're not allowed to prescribe, and they're not allowed to diagnose, okay, because we're not doctors, so we're not allowed to do any of those things. So really the only thing we're allowed to do is for stress release, that's illegal. So uh, in here, you're going to have stress always for anybody, because I don't really make it as have stress, but anyways, this is legal then. So in each condition, you're going to have three conditions. You're going to have, though, a top, a middle, and a base note. These ones here, you guys are going to have to, you guys have a download. If anything, download these off of the website. These are five pages of quick information. These are the ones I was telling you about earlier for the um, steam distilled and how, how they're made and all that. So with it, though, this is actually what I had to study for my exam. And what I did is I created a little quick reference. But weirdly enough, that became my life for the last 20 years. Everything's on there that I need. And so once you know what you're doing, all you need is this. Because it will tell you which oil, it will tell you which note it is. And later when we do the online, study, like when we do the blends, that note matters. But it tells you the contraindications, which you're not allowed to use it for. Okay. So with it, if anything, go to the go to your website area, log in, and at least print these. Everything else, uh, if you have this, you're going to be fine. Everything else is great reading, but you're going these are going to be your lifeline. Now, in online there for you guys, there is as I said before, you're going to print out those those five papers that have the, um, my quick reference on them. But, I'm just gonna get the real page. There, you're gonna have pages that you can print that are aromatherapy, therapeutic cross-reference sheets, okay? So in here, what you have is all these conditions already done up for you. Which oils to, you're gonna have lots of these pages. They all have different uh, conditions. They're alphabetical. But then not only that, you are also going to have closer to the back, you're going to have also all the systems. So once you get through the individual conditions, you're going to have all the, con the systems of the body. So like you have then uh, muscular, skeletal, um, you know, like all the different systems are going to be in there. But not only that, then what you have at the very back is all the emotional. Okay, so you have three. You have one for different conditions that the doctor says. Uh, two, you're going to have by system of the body, and three, you're going to have uh, emotional things that can help. So three ones. Let's do aches and pains because that's that's a lot of people's issues. So we'll do aches and pains as our next one. Okay, and then our third one. Let's pretend it's headaches. So we're going to pick three different, con well, two different conditions. Some of you guys are going to have three. Now, in most situations, what you're going to have is a health form. So a client comes in, they fill out our health form. Okay, I can tell from here also what I'm going to put up there, right? Because they already have issues. So uh, with it, they're going to fill these out and later, or during lunch or something, you guys are going to fill out yours. And then also online, what there is, is I have a quick little reference for you guys. So these are all the different conditions that are in here. And then you have the map, kind of what we're going to do, the build form that we're going to fill out. And stress is already in there, okay? For aches and pains, so what we're going to do is you would look up aches and pains. So now, nothing saying you have to print these. You could just look online and just get the information. You know, like on, on the website there, just get the info. So aches and pains, they're in their list, okay? Top, middle, base notes. So they're already in their notes. So we're gonna do aches and pains. All right. So we have basil, 
we have Kajaput, we have Caraway, we have Corander, we have Eucalyptus, we have Sage, and those are the top notes. Middle, we have Black Pepper, we have Camphor, Chamomile, Geranium, Juniper, Marjoram, Melissa, Peppermint, and this one is Rosemary. Okay, then we have for base, we have Benzoin, Clove, Immortal. This is also considered Helicursum and Nutmeg. All right, so that's for aches and pains. Those are the oils that it says that it's the best for. Now, we're going to look up headaches. So we would find the oils that are good for headaches, so it's alphabetical. And here, we have eucalyptus, we have grapefruit, lemon, calomel, lavender, marjoram, melissa, peppermint, rosemary, rosewood, immortelle, linden blossom, and Now, the stress one, okay, so basil, bergamot, cherry sage, lemon, mandarin, orange, lime, and yarrow, and then we have chamomile, geranium, guess what, juniper, expensive so most people it, it's more of a synthetic if you're gonna buy that oil know that it probably isn't real okay so these are the oils in stress that are good aches and pains that are the best and headaches that are the best so what we're doing is we're gonna find out which oils are gonna help each condition and then we're gonna find out if there's also contraindication for them so we're going to imagine okay, that we have condition one, two, and three. One, two, and three. So we have condition one, two, and three. Now, we have different choices of, of the recipes that you guys can, can make. We have an acute recipe. So if somebody has had an issue, and it's within one year. So from now to one year would be acute. Then we have chronic, which is one year plus. So it doesn't matter how long it's been, it's just a year plus. And then we have synergistic. And that just means that it's a top, middle, base blend. And it, it's kind of just all, um, it does both. So the recipe for an acute is top, middle, middle. Recipe for chronic is middle, middle, base. Recipe for synergistic is top, middle, base. Before I get back to this, I'm just gonna I'm gonna just finish up on these ones. So a top note, a middle note, and a base note, and again, if you go on to those five papers that I have for you. 
There are also two, you guys have information on every single oil that's online also. So every single oil has big right up on it. And so it will tell you um, all the scientific information. It will tell you indications. It will tell you therapeutic properties. It will tell you then if you go to the next one, the chemical properties, the real chemical properties that it's, it's good for. Some history and different information on it too. On here again, what matters? Benefits, what is it good for? And then two, what can't you use it for? Okay, because there's different issues. So if somebody had high blood pressure, there's gonna be some oils here we can't use. If somebody's pregnant, there's some oils here we can't use. If somebody's sensitive and, and they can get allergic really quickly, then there's oils that we can't use. So, so there's certain things that we can't use, but there's some that are, are very good. So you're gonna work with whatever happens, but to whatever you or your loved ones can use kind of thing. Okay. So in the recipe blend for this, a top note is four drops. A middle note is three drops. And a base note is one drop. The size of the molecule, okay, a base note is quite a big molecule, and a top note is a very small molecule. But a top note evaporates quickly, but it will go into the body very quickly. A middle note is kind of medium on both of these. A base note takes a long time to get to our nose, so if we were going to smell it, it would take a moment to actually come to us. Or the molecule is bigger, so it's going to take longer to get into our body. But a base note, you don't need as much. These are the same potencies. So the best one I can kind of give you as an example is with liquor. If you had beer and then you had, let's say, um, uh, spritzer, and then you have like vodka or alcohol, like hard, hard alcohol, okay? They give you one ounce of hard alcohol, okay? But you can have like a whole bottle of beer kind of thing. And how many beer would it take to get drunk compared to how many ounces, you know, like if you filled this up to make the same ounces as a beer, you're gonna be way more drunk with this, right? Mm -hmm. Does that give you an idea? Okay, same kind of thing. It doesn't take much of a base note to do the therapeutic effect, but it takes a lot more. It needs four drops to equal one drop of a base note for a top note. So you need four of these to match the potency of one base note. Top note's the beer. Yes. The bottom note's the bottom. Very good. <laughs> Yeah. The middle. <laughs> the middle the wine, is the cider. Okay, so with that said, the other rule is is you can only have a max of 12 drop equivalent kind of thing in one day. Now what that means is is because a base note is equivalent to four drops. You can only have three drops of a base. What are you putting this in? That's a good question. Yeah. Um, we're going to make all our other blends, right, that we can do with the real stuff, not the fragrant oils. So uh, I would do it in a massage. Oh, okay. I would do it for skin technology. Yeah. I would do it into a custom blend that I'm sending home to the client. I would do it uh, for my friends and family if they're sick or if they have some kind of ailment and give it to them in a cream and they can put onto the body. Um, we could make it into a spritzer that they could then uh, spray. So oodles, oodles, of, once you know how to do this, there's all kinds of things that you can do it. There's nothing saying that you can't do this with the products that we made earlier. The only thing is the therapeutic disappears, so what's the point? Yeah, so there's no point in wasting time or energy. Is there places on the body to put it as well, depending on like a sickness? Like if you, sure. if you have a cold, would you target? Yeah, front and back, Yeah, nose, okay. throat area. Yeah. Uh, if it was tummy, I, I would put it closer to there. Okay. Um, but you'd be amazed at how fast the feet can get uh, stuff oh. to you. Yeah, the feet are amazing, actually, okay. of how fast things can go in. 
um, actually kind of more sometimes than some other parts of the body. Um, putting this stuff in with a carrier oil though, the carrier oil kind of coats it, right? And so a carrier oil doesn't evaporate. So we, if we had, um, I, do, I do a custom blend for, for our stuff. So in here I have jojoba, uh, peach, avocado, olive, grapeseed, and then I have a little bit of evening primrose and St. John's wort in here. So it's a, it's a blend of a carrier oil. But there's nothing saying that you can't use uh, grapeseed, olive oil, stuff that you have at home. There's nothing saying you can't use it. If you can eat it, you can put it on your body. The only difference between New Directions and something you buy at the grocery store is there's going to be um, probably vitamin E or something in, in the one at the grocery store to help preserve it. Where these guys, there's nothing there. There's no preservative. So they want you to use it within six months. Yeah. The grocery store is probably good for a year or two. I'm not positive how long it is on there, but it's a long, long time. Okay. So this three drops means three drops of anything that you're going to use with the aromatherapy in one day. Or if I was going to have, let's pretend, uh, four, that would be 12 drops of the top. So this is the base, and this would be a top. So I could have 12 drops, or I could have nine drops. But we're going to do the recipes. We're going to really do the recipes. There was a situation when I first was learning way back in, uh, what was it, 99? Um, I, <laughs> the instructor let us do three drops because we were learning aroma and massage at the same time. And so he says, just go ahead, pick any three oils you want. So I just randomly picked three oils. And we were learning the massage. We had already learned, let's see, one, two, three, four. We were on day five of the massage, so the fifth section. I got on the back, couldn't remember the back, couldn't remember nothing, couldn't remember the legs, couldn't remember nothing, nothing. And I'm like, what is going on? So the teacher kept coming back, coming back, coming back, because I couldn't remember anything. And I felt like a twit, but anyways, finished the massage, and uh, go to the bathroom, stood up, and I kept going. I had no bladder control, and I couldn't even tell that I wasn't done. I knew right then that I had a problem. It was the oils. They affected me. Interestingly enough, I don't remember which oils they were. All I remember is there was three bases. I, I somehow just grabbed three base notes. I only used one drop each, and that's how badly it affected me. Yeah. When I say these things, like the real ones do what they do, they do what they do. Yeah. So be careful. I mean, I've had. <laughs> Over the years, I've had students say they, you know, they had aroma class with massage and whatever, and uh, gone out that night and partied. Well, the next night, I've had students say they woke up under a tree. <laughs> I mix it with alcohol. Yeah, it, 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 it's amazing what it can do if somebody doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, I've had a lady, one, she was drinking wine in the bathtub, had essential oils in the bathtub, and almost drowned. So. Another one, somebody got a hold of the, um, the little guy got a hold of the mom's container and was drinking it. Luckily it was lavender, um, but thought it was like candy. Fennel tasted it like it smelled just like black licorice. So the kid thinks that it's candy. So no, if you have therapeutic, you can get safety locks for these. There are ones that just turn. You'd have to push and turn for safety caps. There are those in case you guys have little kids around. Um, and these should always be in a, a, a cooler area out of the light, so kind of hidden if possible. They're in a dark container, but the light will change the effect of them too. What about diffusing them if you buy like a stress blend? Yeah, they're going to work. But <clears throat> how many times a day would you run your diffuser? But it's drops. Yeah. So it's how many drops are you going to put on that? So I don't care how many times you run it, it's how many drops you got in there. Now, in here, to pick, though, what we're going to choose for the blends, is we're going to see what we have copies of. So let's pretend this is an acute blend that we're going to try right now. So we are going to do an acute. So we know we need a top, middle, middle. Right? That's the recipe for an acute blend. So 
I'm going to see if there's something that has her top note that is in the other stuff. So we know we have eucalyptus. We know we have eucalyptus, but we don't have eucalyptus. We know we have lemon. No lemon, but we have lemon. Okay, so. Aches and pains, headaches. Okay, lemon is better for headaches than eucalyptus, so let's go with lemon. And the reason I know that is because, of course, 20 years of doing this. Um, once you get into there and you start reading them, you'll see what they're really good for. So if you think about any citrus thing, they're always uplifting. They're always kind of um, refreshing. Eucalyptus is too, but it's more of a chest thing, right? So it, it gets you here. So a lot of headaches are here. Even though we have aches and pains, eucalyptus is good for aches and pains, but there's better ones for aches and pains. So we're going to use um, we're going to use lemon. So we know lemon is in our first blend. We know lemon is in our third blend, but there's nothing in our second blend for lemon. So this one here is going to be lemon. So we're going to do lemon, and it's a top note. So how many drops? Four. Four. Right. Okay, so now we get two different middle notes. And so again, we're going to see what we have. So we have, okay, chamomile, chamomile, chamomile. So we got chamomile three times. So we could do chamomile, and we know it's there. We could do, okay, lavender, no lavender, marjoram, marjoram, marjoram. We can use marjoram. It's in there three times. And the reason why I'm doing three times is, is we might as well have as many oils to hit each issue as we can. Okay, you'll see this in a sec. Uh, what other choices do we have? We have uh, Melissa, Melissa, and Melissa. We could choose Melissa. We have peppermint, peppermint, and peppermint. Okay. Rosewood. Okay, so we have four to choose from that we could use for a middle note. Now, lemon, if you go into your quick reference for issues, all it has for lemon for the contraindications is possibly may irritate skin and increase photosensitivity. So if somebody was going to go out sun tanning, then you're not going to use lemon, right? Because you don't want to burn them. But other than that, every anybody else, doesn't matter who they are, it could be a pregnant woman, could be somebody who has high blood pressure, low blood pressure, that kind of stuff, they all can use lemon. Okay. So now we have to make a choice of which one are we going to use, because we have aches and pains and we have headaches. Now some people actually like peppermint for headaches, but as I was saying yesterday, peppermint isn't everybody's fix for headaches. Actually, roast damask would be even a better one. Because most people who have headaches are very high stressed, high high go 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 people. Like they're always on the move, always doing something. Peppermint is it will boost your energy. They already have too much energy. They need to come down. Okay. So in balancing, in healing, you have too high or too low, but we need balance. So whatever they're doing, we want this to come down and we want this to come up. Okay. Oils have the same effect. Some bring us up, some bring us down. So you kind of have to play with what's going on with the person. So chances are, now aches and pains, peppermint can get in there because why? Why would peppermint be okay for aches and pains? Are you looking at me? Okay. Think about this. Headaches may be not the best. A lot of people use it for headaches, but not necessarily the best one. But I'll tell you why, because it's the same answer of why I'm just thinking it's relaxing. Okay, why though? If you relax, your muscles relax, and usually a mus tight muscle can so cause what pain. What would peppermint do to the body to help relax the muscle? Think about eating peppermint. What does peppermint do? Freshens. Well, I am not a fan of peppermint, but I, it's, um, yeah, it's an intense, you know, really hot taste. Okay, what would make that be? It's an irritant. But why? What's it doing? What system of the body is it affecting? Circulation. It gets your blood going, right? You put it on you, the blood's just talking because it, it does burn, right? 
And so with it, why some people that peppermint works is because their circulation is enough and so it's getting the brain circulating. The aches and pains, you could also have more oxygen getting to more of the muscles. Okay, but if I want relaxation, marjoram is going to be the best. Marjoram will knock out muscles like crazy. The other thing for aches and pains is an Epsom salt bath. So a bath bomb done up with Epsom salts. Okay, nothing saying that you couldn't put this into the bath. Just reminding you, possibly though, this won't do any therapeutic in the bathtub, especially if you put soap in the bath. Soap kills essential oils, so you're not going to have anything there. And heat can also kill them, because what it does is evaporates everything. So it possibly won't do anything, and it's going to float on top of the water, so if they hop in, it's either going to be now on their skin, kind of uh, direct, or it's just floating away from them at their toes and not doing anything. Do you think they ever use essential oils with athletes, with ice baths? Not for ice bath. They would put it on with massage or a cream. Yeah. But they do ice baths. Yeah. On I was just saying, yeah, the heat evaporating it, the ice bath wouldn't. They don't no, but it still floats there. on water. Yeah. So you'd be way better doing the ice bath, getting them their muscles um, shrunk down and that the, they're not um, swollen from the exercise, and then doing a massage on them and using essential oils after. Yeah. Okay. So. Again, different oils do different things. Now, if they're stressed, marjoram would be the best. If they're lethargic, peppermint would actually be the best. So again, depending what region, right at the moment that we're not going to care. Let's, let's choose in this case, we're going to choose chamomile. So chamomile is a middle note. How many drops? Three. Three. Three drops. Right? So we have four, three, and one. Okay. Oh, sorry. I didn't have. We could use marjoram. Let's use marjoram because that was another one. How many drops? Three. Three. Okay. So this would be possibly our blend, but the problem is now is we have to make sure. So chamomile, uh, Roman and uh, German chamomile. One is purple and one is just kind of normally brown color. Uh, they do smell very different. So with one, German and Roman, you cannot use the first trimester of pregnancy. Trimester means uh, all three months. So you'd have to be into month four to be able to use this on somebody who's pregnant. And it's possible that it could irritate the skin. So chamomile isn't a problem. This person we're going to pretend is not pregnant. Now, if I look up marjoram, now we have here, marjoram cannot be used on pregnancy at all, period. Okay, And it can't be used with somebody with low blood pressure. And it could deaden their emotions, or stupefy a person, or cause do dozing. Yeah, <laughs> this one here, anybody in a sexual relationship is going to null you for about three days. You're not going to want it. <laughs> on a female, it, it dries you up, so it's hard to create liquid down there. And for a guy, it'd be hard for him to get an erection. Wow. But, that would make it just that said, think about that. Great muscle relaxant. <laughs> so anybody who is in pain and can't have it anyways, who cares? <laughs> right? So, uh, but there are different ones. If they're pregnant, definitely wouldn't be able to use this. We'd have to change our blend depending on their issues. Now, with this, we would be able to then have this knowledge, because we've checked the contraindications, we know we can use them for this person, uh, even if they had high blood pressure, because this one is only for low blood pressure. So somebody with high blood pressure using marjoram is really good, because it brings the pressure down. Right? So if they had high blood pressure, this is actually a choice I would want to choose because even though it's not one of the conditions, it's like having a fourth condition and then it would help again. Okay? I had a client who, because I used to sell this stuff two years and years ago, uh, because Poya never, or uh, New Directions never used to have them in the small little bottles. They had them in, you had to buy them in 100 mil and that was it. And so it got really expensive. So we used to um, put them in the little bottles and people would come and buy five mils. The lady who I was seeing yesterday was, uh, um, her husband had come in for a pickup and on the phone and I, we found out that she had just lost a baby. And then I'm like, oh my God, and look at the oils she's using. 
They had no idea. They had no idea that she was allowed to use those oils for, while she was pregnant or on pregnant people. So she was causing her own miscarriages. But she used it all the time because she was a therapist. But she didn't know enough about her own mother. But that's part of the reason why the government wanted to take some of it away. 